Hey Virgos and welcome to your mid-month end of March love reading. This is for March 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos. For those of you interested in purchasing a reading, I did see down in the comments last week. Um, you just go to my YouTube page at the very top corner. You'll see a Google like G. Click on that and it'll bring you to a Google form where you request a reading and then I will get a hold of you from there. All right, Virgos. There we go. My card for Virgo, please. Thank you. All right, you guys have a honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of time together. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Virgos. Oops. Virgo. Oh my goodness, I didn't even get one shuffle in. You got Ace of Cups. For your current energy, the challenge to this. What is your challenge in the end of March? It is the Four of Pentacles. I'm just going to take that one since it's the only one that flipped. Past, present, future. We got the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Spirit's advice is the Four of Cups and your potential outcome for the end of March. Is the Empress. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands, clarified with the Princess of Cups and the Seven of Cups. You have Temperance right under that. Okay, I'm going to scoop these over so you can see them all. Okay. So, um, in your guys' current situation, you know, the cup, the Ace of Cup, you know, it overflows. It's outpouring of feelings. It's creative new beginnings. Um, you know, that pure attraction, um, a new beginning to a relationship, abundance. It's just really, you know, like that fulfillment, that perfection um, that one finds in life when they, they start off with, you know, having that self-love and the love of another. A new beginning for an old relationship is what I'm hearing as well or a current relationship, like a, a, a rejuvenation of a relationship that's been kind of stagnant. You have the five of wands. So there's been a lot of bickering going on, a lot of um, confrontation, a lot of uh, just quarreling is what I'm getting um, between the two of you. There could be, you know, like conflicting um, opinions too many choices, needing to like, there's been some sort of like struggle here, some sort of struggle with that self-acceptance, with that self-love. Um, a lot of inner conflict is what I'm seeing with this one. The challenge to that Ace of Cups, that new beginning, that, that love overflow, um, is the Four of Pentacles, holding back, resisting, not investing um, as much time and energy as needed to make this successful, being stingy with your time, with your feelings, with your finances, holding on out of fear of losing. Why is the Four of Pentacles here as their challenge? Oh, the High Priestess in reverse. So, you know, you have a lot of fears. This is facing your fears, truly opening up, truly letting go. Um, trusting another person with your heart. Um, you've really been holding that back. You're disconnected from your higher self. That needs to be reconnected. Your faith needs restored here um, with the lovers at the bottom. It needs restored in your love life. In the past, you could have been juggling more than one option, um, and it now makes you fearful to give your heart out of fear that that'll be done to you for some of you. For others, you're just trying to change your life in order for it to reflect what it is that you want in your current energy you have the eight of swords so this is a lot of contradiction a lot of criticism 
there's some sort of temporary difficulty here. Um, there is trauma underneath, but it can be healed. You could be going through a minor dark night of the soul, Virgos. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is progress, breakthroughs. Um, something moving very quickly on the threshold of something like groundbreaking. This could be promises, proposals. Like you're holding back um, your desires out of fear of being trapped. Like you want to move forward. You want this to move quick. Ace of Cups is at the bottom. Most definitely, you want this love to move to that next level of the Two of Cups, but you're holding back. That holding back is your challenge. It needs released. Why is the Two of Cups here in the future? Why is the Two of Cups here? Tell me more. So look at Two of Cups. This is partnership. It's a harmonious match. It's a soulmate, a couple um, that has the willing, willingness to compromise, um, agree with each other, teamwork. There's the two cups here for Virgo in the future. Thank you, the Hierophant. Yeah, in the future, this is somebody that, um, you know, they carry the same values as you. They carry the same traditions as you. Spiritually, they're on the same page as you. They believe in the same things as you. Um, and this will move to a proposal. This will move to a higher level of connection because the two of you are soulmates. The two of you are meant to be together. The two of you are meant um, for success in this lifetime. But in order for that success to be re reached, you need to listen to your intuition. You're blocking yourself because your intuition is telling you you need to give. You need to open up. You need to communicate. But your fear is blocking your intuition and you're ignoring it and just holding on tight to everything you have. Um, refusing to share, uh, any part of your, any part with your partner, um, making it very complicated for the two of you to be successful, but in the near future, that is gonna, that is gonna change. There is a dark night of the soul here for some of you, and it's, you're coming out of that. You're seeing the light. You're opening up in the near future. Three of Pentacles. Spirit's advice is to, um, with that four of cups being the, objective here. It's using your imagination. Um, you're hiding the anxiety that you're feeling. You're feeling, um, some of you may be feeling bored or preoccupied, but you're, you're not seeing the good things. You're isolating the bad things. You're just focusing on that and it's causing you this sadness. Um, it's self-pity, but you need to find the new light, the hidden blessings within the situation because this is meant to work out you, the, your person and the divine. This is meant to work together with the six of wands being at the bottom. It's going to be successful. Uh, but you have to put in the work. It's not just going to fall into your lap. You have to begin the work in opening up and seeing the good and not focus on the bad. Um, and by doing that, you're going to open up to a whole new create a whole new relationship that that will be creative and new, even if it's with a current partner, it's new. It's, it's new way of doing things, seeing things and being in a relationship, either a, with somebody, a very powerful female, or you are the very powerful female Virgo one or the other. This is something that you guys are going to create together. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, the Nine of Wands. You're coming to the end of a cycle. You're ready to start something new. This is something that you've been fighting for up to this point. Why now that you have it, are you blocking yourself from it? You've wanted this. You wanted to be with this person. You wanted to create a life with this person. And now that it's here, you're fighting it. You're closing down. You're holding back. You're not listening to your intuition. And you're putting up a battle, um, causing confrontation and conflict within the connection. Um, because you're afraid of being trapped, but yet you don't want to let go. Why is the six of wands here in the bottom of the deck here? There is success coming for you. There is fulfillment. There is, uh, you know, good news coming your way, a well-earned victory. This is something about your hopes being fulfilled as well. Um, this is also an honest discussion that needs to be had 
where there were doubts in the connection as well. So I do see there's doubts here or confusion about something. What is the six of wands here? You have the hermit. Yeah. So you're needing to go within Virgo. This is your card. You're needing to find that inner light. You're needing to find confidence. You're needing to um, find the answers within. You're blocking your intuition. You have all the answers already. You know how to make this successful. Um, it's now time to do it. It's now time to um, take some time away. And when you do that, you are going to be able to successfully move forward, eliminating these you know, delusions, these distorted reflections. There's some sort of corruption that needs to be left behind. Um, because it's not what it appears to be. You could be like accusing this person of something and it's not what it is. You need to look deeper to find the truth of the matter. Um, there is some sort of imagination that's going to come to life, a helpful, youthful, um, energy to this relationship but it's also reflective and meditative so needing to reflect needing to go within to um eliminate the confusion because the answers are within if you're confused you need to take some time together you need to both have um set time away to enjoy the time together it's going to rejuvenate this relationship for sure um but right now it's like the struggles of life, the heaviness of life. It's, it's getting to the bulk of you. If you're not with this person yet, that's what's keeping you separated. Yeah. The chariot, it's time to move this train forward towards success, towards, um, happiness, towards a common goal, allowing the universe to lead and guide the two of you, um, wherever it may take you, it's going to take you there successfully, but you have to, um, find the answers within first. And when you successfully do that, you will have rewards coming in your direction that favor the two of you that that bring this connection together that allow the two of you to create and to birth new ideas and to bounce off each other to see the good in the relationship and to work together to bring in um not only self-love but a balanced love an equal love like i said temperance was at the bottom finding that that beautiful balance the ebb and flow of life the in and the out um, it's time to stop fighting what you've been fighting for you fought for this connection. You have this connection. Now open up. Don't resist this connection, Virgos, because that's what's going on. And it's really causing a lot of chaos and conflict in your connection. All right, let's get your chakra card for the end of the month. You guys have complacency and grief. So that is the root chakra and the heart chakra here. We'll start with complacency in your root chakra. <clears throat> it says life force energy must be taken seriously. Are you standing tall in your own dreams or trying to build on someone else's? Sadness and the inability to dissociate from a lost dream can show up here. It is time to walk away from anything that does not deeply resonate with you. Release now and be free. It says, this is a warning not to give up. Beware of coasting along in a situation that is not really what you want. You'll never be fulfilled by unmet dreams of another, of others. How can you redefine your dreams? How can I stop procrastinating? Finding self-nourishment, leaving the dreams unrealized, feeling depleted, time for rest, lack of motivation, and holding back. And you have grief in the heart chakra. This is, it says, Pickle represents the strength of character inherent in true love. This cart heralds a deep caring and an ability to heal and love again. However deep pain or hard challenges you face, troubled times denote smooth sailing ahead. Penelope and Pickle are reminded, remind us that, that what we reveal, we can heal. Give yourself time. You will love again. If you honor your pain, it will change your life. Is lingering grief preventing you from the progress in your current relationship? What? Can I see in my heart? You're feeling grief, needing to heal um, something. Or wait, being afraid of sadness, love, commitment, and vulnerability. Okay, so yeah, feeling afraid of feeling that trapped feeling. It's time to 
release that, to heal from that so you can open up again, love again, and enjoy the time together. You guys need to take some time together um, to get this relationship rejuvenated. Or if you are separated from somebody, you need to heal that pain in order to bring in that love that you are desiring, Virgo. So, okay, guys, I hope you had a, or I hope you enjoyed this reading and have a beautiful day.